Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 2015 Mod Showcase with me, Kevin Sawyer. And today's Mod Showcase is going to be California Central Valley and the version is... What, 2.1? Uh, so uh, bear in mind guys, um, you, it may change in later applications, so if you're seeing this in a later date, um, please do check, see the change notes and everything, as this may no longer be um, the current version available. Uh, of course all the uh, the link for this mod will be in the description, and uh, for you guys, so you can check it out for yourselves, but it's made by a modder of the name of Dangel MC, so let's jump right on him. Um, I've set it up so it's uh, on normal difficulty, not easy, not hard. There's no real um, thing to jump out at you and bite you so much. Uh, I'll go through what uh, the uh, what's on the map once we get into it. But I'll show you guys this intro loading up. Now I'm going to say it's quite a big map, so I apologise in advance if this takes a bit longer than my usual mod showcases. There's obviously, it's a mod map showcase, so and it's a massive map, as I said, so it's going to take a while to look round. Uh, the mods you're going to need, uh, obviously, like in the OGF um, map and this one, you're going to need the uh, map my the map viable objects and uh, the door animated door trigger oh, again I'll put the links for those in the uh, description as well guys um, but anyway again you get like on the um, OGF map you get this uh, little board comes up straight away saying whether you want to uh, choose viable objects or not so I'm just going to say viable objects for now and uh, Again, raid the savings and grab a few million because we're going to need it. Cause it's quite expensive undertaking. So if I round it up to about four million, roughly, there we go. Right. So first off the bat, let's go through what you start off with. So let's have a look at that one. Right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay. For field types, uh, looks like you start off with field 6 and field 5. That's the field, first two fields you own. Um, the rest of them are not owned, but you can go and buy them whenever. Uh, some of them have already been planted, so you might need to turn your um, plant weather into off. But anyway, I digress. Let's uh, go through what the... Uh, Vehicles you start off with. There's quite a f uh, quite a flotilla of vehicles available. If I try and find them for you guys, so starting from the beginning, I'll just go through them all. Um, as you can see, it's quite a vast amount. So you've got the pickup, you've got an assortment of weights, a sprayer, a baler, looks like bale shredder, uh, another another fertilizer sprayer, some forks. Small tractor, some trailers, some more tractors, some more weights. It's quite a lot of bits and bobs as you start off on normal. It might be different on hard or easy, but you do start off with pretty much good good lot of kit on here. So anyway, I digress. We start. Uh, so obviously, this is the main farm here. I think it's called King's Farm, um, but it's again it's quite unusual in its characteristics. Um, you got like the uh, door openings here for storage again. Um, I don't know whether all of this is usable or not. Again, I haven't played on this map long enough to uh, really understand what is the ins and outs of this map. But I thought I'd show you guys. Again, I haven't really tested what this does. It says this active, active text. 
I've tried it off screen and it doesn't seem to make any difference at all. I have no idea what that's all about. Oh, I'm stuck inside the door. Ah, maybe that's something to do with it. Maybe you won't... There we go. Now I've noticed that as well with this version. Again, it is a beta version, so you're going to have little bugs in it. But if I open all these doors up, um, and you can see it's more or less a couple of uh, different uh, garages here. So you've got plenty of room to stop, store things, that's for sure. There's some more storage over here. So we've got a drive through barn there. Another big barn there. Over here looks like a place where you can get your seeds from. Because it's um, integrated with the soil mold. I'm guessing this is where you can get your seeds from here as well. I'm guessing it's either this lot over here for like the fertilizer side of it and and or um, the pesticides and stuff. I can see that you got these silos here. It says pesticide storage. Um, so there might be different types of uh, pesticides in there for the. Uh, For the soil um, mod, uh, you can use it with the soil or without soil. Uh, for fruit types, let's quickly show you the fruit types as well. Forgot to mention that. Uh, most of this, most of it's going to be the standard stuff. Um, so you've got wheat, barley, canola, corn, potatoes, sugar beet, wood chips. Don't ignore the, that lot. That's part of my Ross and Fowler mods. Then you go down to here, and then now here you can see it's got concrete, cement, sand, gravel, fish, I don't know what that's about, uh, forest, then again sunflower, so sunflower seeds, oats, um, don't know what that is, that might be just another mod, again that's just another mod, uh, rye, soya bean, cotton, maize, I don't know if they're just parts of the uh, map mod or not. You'd have to go for it yourself, guys. But anyway, I digress. So where did we get to? So this is basically the main farm here. Um, over, we've got what I do is I'll go around it uh, sort of like clockwise. There's a pickup parked up on the top left corner there. But I'll walk over to this one first. This is the first thing that's like closest to the main main farm is anyway. So across from the main farm is this other secondary farm over here. Textures ain't too bad f for this um, map. It is quite, quite good. Um, it kind of goes along the same theme as the... It's not the same mod that made OGF, but it's the same sort of weird sort of thing going on. So first of all, uh, you need to go over to here. And all this is going to be... Where your pig farm is. Now again, guys, I can't uh, show you what the preview does because of copyright. So we just purchase it straight up the bat. So we walk in here and this looks like where your pigs... Uh, maybe your goats... Sorry, goats. Um, where sheep and your chickens will be here by the looks of it as well. So... It's got some horses in here as well. This could be part of the pigs and beef mod over here. So, yeah, this looks like the pigs and beef mod. So this is where your pigs and beef will be. Yeah. Pigs and beef are over here. So, okay, it's for those guys. Some more pigs. Two sets of pig nests. Uh, looks like a Maru mixing station over there. Uh, these look like silos so you can produce um, 
uh, so you can so look like silage, so you can produce silage. Um, just a generic barn. Nothing particularly interesting about it, no. Over here, ERs. I believe it's a grain dryer, but don't quote me on it, please. Um, it looks like a grain dryer to me. Someone mentioned to me that it's probably a grain dryer, but. Again, guys, you'd have to put in the yeah, comments down below once you've played with it for yourselves. And let me say, yeah, that's a grain dryer, Kev, or no, it's not grain dryer, Kev. Anyway, I believe again, because this might be because it's just been a modified map, this might not be leading to us where I think it's leading us to. But I'll just quickly hop over here, just to be on the safe side. I can hear the dis yeah, so this chicken's one walking freely around free range chicken so to speak I'm guessing that's a generic, you can always put your Maru collection point if he needs to over here looks like the sheep yeah there's the wool production place so that's where the pallet would for the wool would appear here and then you just obviously drive up with your front load or whatever to unload them. This is where you'd feed them, the troughs of grass and water. So it's covered pretty much what's round the first part of the barn. So what I do is I jump over to the pickup, which is just over here. Let's fire it up. Stay out of cab so you guys can, but you can see how vast this map is. Unfortunately, my graphics card doesn't do it justice, but it's a vast old map. If you like, the map's big. Now, I don't know if you can see that over there, guys. It's some sort of water sprinkler system. Now, I don't believe it works, it's not collidable, so. But again, it'd be a case of having to play for yourself, guys, and have a look, see if it can work at all. But okay, over here is uh, Beef City. Now again, like I said before, so we purchased that. And again, you saw how expensive that really was, and I'm already like in debt, so we're just. Uh, Raid the bank of uh, Uncle Sam, so to speak, and get some more money in the bank. There we go. So it's going to take a lot, what long time to get to a point where you can uh, purchase a lot of things. But I guess with the fields being so big, it would probably wouldn't take you long to get a massive harvest. Just quickly slow down time as well to see times jumped up. So first of all, where are we going to? So I believe these are the first like cell points over here up on the top of the map. So we're uh, right over to there. I've taken traffic off for now but you can have traffic on or not. It does does bring it a bit more realism to the game and traffic on. But just for demonstration purposes. Now I believe this is where you can store some yes yeah, so it's like grass maybe and wood chips maybe yeah wood chips there yeah, so if we go up to this bit up here oh power slide So these look like the sell points for where you uh, would sell your cattle or your beef and your pigs perhaps and also possibly chaff and grass for this bit yeah so chaff and grass so you can sell those back here if you wanted to it's like some sort of sell point 
and up here is the little mixer again again I guess you can pour it directly into there and find it down if it needs to go as the crow flies. Uh, so if we head down to this one, this looks like some sales points over this way. Humongously big map, so you're going to need a lot of equipment for this. Once, if you had quite a few fields, going to be course play. We'll work on here. But one thing I will say, and we're coming up to it now, you may want to put waiting areas here because this train track actually does have a train on it. Hopefully, we'll get to see it at one point. But a train does come through here and uh, the gates open prematurely so you find that the uh, you might find your course play running straight into it so you might want to put wait points there just to so then when it gets there you can either say yes to go or not to go but here looks like another sales point for potentially possibly sort of like concrete and gravel sort of start side of things we we'll just back up into there that'll soon tell us yeah okay so that probably lends itself to that again I'm just guessing there's a sales point there that could be for the beef yeah it looks like the beef one again so that first one was just for chaff there you go so yeah these are the that's the pigs and that's the beef. The previous place was just a chaff's place, chaff sellage place. Over here is a set of way scales, but not only that. Obviously, you can sell some potentially grain. I take it from here. There's a big, so a quick. Oh, can't drive through there. No. Nope an invisible wall but there is a little dump point just here so again get your, your uh, course blade to drive through here carefully but that looks like that's a grain sales point and then there's a big train there don't think that's the train I was on about though don't know if there's any uh, big levers or not for it. Could always send a little quick look ski down here. Look out for any big levers. Don't see any. That's the sort of train that you see going through. Every now and again, well, it's something similar to it anyway. Anyway, I digress, so where are we next? So I'll go as the crow flies down to the next one bit of off-road fun for you guys. This looks like the biomass plants just around here. Don't know if we can make that. Yeah we can. Oh and the fence isn't collidable. Good. This looks like the BGA plant. So you've got the main BGA here again. Uh, there's the uh, for the settle of the wood chips right there and it looks like the uh, you're going to need a front loader to load the actual BGA itself there's a little, a little uh, icon popped up there don't know what that is all about ah oh, it's a refuel point by the looks of it yeah, it looks like a refuel plant. So maybe that's got something. You can sell stuff in there if you get a refuel. Anyway, I digress. We'll continue down.
down. Whoa. Crash. So we're getting, heading towards another purch purchasable object. This one's a bit of a strange one. I uh, don't know what this one's all about. Looks like you can buy your own export company. But there's two places down here which I looked at off screen quickly. Um, but as you can see, it's like this little uh, little place where you can buy this one. So buy this one. And have a quick drive around inside here. But I think you can sell straw here because it looks like generic straw sales points. These are all static; they don't move. Unfortunately, it's a shame. I guess it's to save on lag on PC, a weaker NPC. I don't know if it earns you any money over time, but. And then, then you're right opposite this one. So, grain farm. I guess, I guess is where you can store grain. Maybe dry it perhaps. All these, you've got some little garages here that all, these just automatically open. You don't need to hop out and in, out, out and in of them. You've got little, little storage there and some more little storage on the roof there as well. Another couple of garages just over here. This spinnery looks like just in that far corner there, perhaps. Some more storage places there. This looks like a drive through barn. Which it is. Guessing you can use this as a tip point, but don't quote me on that again. There's grills there that look like tip points, but could just be textures. Could to be just where you load up your seeds with pallets. The uh, maps are like indicating the tip points around about here somewhere. Aha, here we go, there's a tip point there. So yes, yeah, so we dump the grain in there. Right, let's head down to the next bit. This is a massive map, like I said. Let's see if the train's coming at all. No, it doesn't look like it. I'm gonna miss it in this one. Uh, this again, you can sell your. Um, says. Sugar cane, but I don't see. What is this open? Oh, drive through them. Okay. It's a workshop that you can drive through. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. But it is a sell point of some kind. flies again. Luckily enough all these fences ain't collidable. Oh there's the train. And that's a long train as well. You wouldn't want your course play to get involved with any of that. Now it says a John Deere little shop here but it's not an actual place you can buy anything from looks like a place you can buy stuff from but you can't you may be able to sell stuff from there but you can't buy anything unless the shops divide up into two possibly it's again possible aspect but there's old Mr. Popo Looks like he's doing a sobriety test on his own. 
Um, but there is another little shop just here that says Case on it. Um, so you can buy and sell from there as well. And that's a little bank just on the left there. And let's have a quick look. Some more little sales points here. Again, I think it's lending itself towards like the uh, So there's a sales point there. This could all be part of the construction mod. Perhaps. For concrete and stuff. Again, I'm only guessing. It could just be textures they put in. That's a sales point of some kind. Uh, it's just a little more texture. That's another sales point of some kind. Shield station over here truck stop. Over here is the shop where you can buy your saplings from. So you buy the saplings from here, so jump out. And then obviously you get your pallet saplings here. These are just mod ones that I've got. Um, let's go back out of that. Jump back in the old. So we head as the crow flies again. Down to the next sets of cell points. There's a fair bit of forestry on this map as well, so you can always use dedicate this side of the map to that aspect of it. Hoping this fence is glidable. Yes it is. Okay. So find another way out. That looks like a sales point for the sugar or something or sand perhaps. sales point I guess. No visible way in or out of it though. There we go. And there's your way in and out. Oh yes, this is the sh this is the sales point for the it says sugar. I guess you sell sugar beet here or refined sugar again. Otherwise you'd have to play with it yourselves to find out. Go back out of here. Here's another sales point again. It's like you can sell some corn or whatever from here. You'd have to have a again have a little play around. But there's the sales point right there. With the way scales as well. Right, okay. Let's have a quick look, see if we're missing anything. Another bio, there's another biomass plant just behind it as well. Looks of it. Ah, yeah. This is where you can sell your um, your timber from here. Let's see if we can sneak in through this side bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this is where the sales point for all the timber is. So you saw on logs and stuff like that. Uh, so we've done that one, we head this way now. In goes the crow, crow flies. Then come up to the dairy farm. And we've got 
two more purchases purchasable items in here as well so cover them as well again guys I can only apologize about the lengthiness of the uh, my show case it's uh, like I said a big 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 map as you guys can see a lot to take in um, now these look like massive uh, I think it again it's just a generic cell point perhaps it says chaff or grass on it but I guess here is the uh, it's dairy farm so this is either where you uh, sell your milk or you collect your milk I'd say uh, collect it by looks of it, but I could be wrong. After all, the actual dairy farm. You say, uh, yeah, that's where you sell it. That's a sell -off point for milk. The actual dairy milk producing is this way. So head this way. Again, it's all so massive, but I guess that's how the states are, it's all big. So let's just quickly pull up to the front door here, hopefully there's a way I can purchase it from here. Hoping you can purchase it from here. Oh, there we go. Purchase. Again, this looks like a little way scale. Some sort. Uh, here is where you can put your... Uh, store a lot of essential stuff, such as silage, uh, mixed ration. Uh, this could be more silage. Yeah, it's two places for silage, what is it? Uh, straw. More straw. Grass, hay. Guess it's two bunkers each, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I'd say. See if you want to do it via front load or not. Decision is yours, or the choice is yours to do Viva. There's another Maru mixing station just here. But this is where your cows will be and your milk picking up uh, pick up point. So I don't know how. Again, you drive through the door. But there's the milk where your milk pick up point will be, just there. It says milk. Again, it's quite vast. There's another one here. It's more milk there as well. Looks like where the manure and the liquid manure points are. Right, brilliant. I think that is the last map barable object. Can we cut through this fence? No, it's a solid fence. Shame. It's a big old milk bowser, isn't it? Massive milk bowser in there. So it's a vast old map. This is something that I liked. Like it's a bit glitchy. I did like it. It's a little office, um, which you can have pretend like conferences. Yeah, you want to buy my milk? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I digress. Let's try and get out of here. I'm going to head to the last point. And this is where, again, I guess is where you can sell potatoes and sugar beets. It's just on the left here. Yeah, in the middle left there. And there's uh, some sort of silo there to sell 
Looks like sugar beets. Cool. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So last one is this down here. We drive through the corn, build the dreams. If you build it, they will come. Purchasable objects. This looks like some sort of finery of some sort, perhaps. I'm gonna need to borrow some money from Uncle Sam again. Next to grain bins. Okay. 16,000 litres. So I guess this have some sort of limited capacity on built into the game. But that's gonna make us broke. But anyway. That is quite a massive lot of extra grain if you need to store it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, mod showcase. If you did, please don't forget to like. And uh, if you're new to my channel and want to see future mod showcases or anything else I'm working on, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. TTFN.